Hello and welcome again to Fox Comics and Games in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. And we are unpacking this week's comic book order. Uh, they go on sale tomorrow, August 8th at Fox Comics and Games at 10 a.m. They will be on the shelves ready to go. And speaking of ready to go, here we are. We're starting with Marvel, issue three of The Amazing Spider-Man. And uh, as we want to do sometimes, here's the beautiful variant cover uh, the, celebrating the return of the Fantastic Four. So that's a beautiful variant cover for Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, next up, we have Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, uh, issue 22. And then a uh, gorgeous cover from Image, uh, Beauty, number 22. Uh, very good book, nice read. Uh, then next up we have Belladonna, Fire and Fury, issue 8. And then from Boom Studios, we have a new title out this month uh, from Matt Kent, who's helped turn Valiant Publishing around. It's called Black Badge, and it looks pretty cool. And that's what the variants for Black Badge number one look like. That's issue one. And then from Valiant Publishing, we have Bloodshot Salvation. Uh, Jeff Lemire writing it. Fantastic book. And if it's on your pull list at Fox's, you will be getting this cover. Uh, this is the pre-order edition of the book, and it includes additional pages of content for the same price. And uh, just you get to be cooler if you get that one. So that's how to be cool. Then from Dark Horse Comics, we have issue 9 of BPRD, The Devil You Know, issue number 9. Then from DC, we have issue 2 of Joel Jones's Catwoman, highly anticipated. Uh, quite a few people have really gotten into Catwoman with Joel Jones' uh, take on her, and highly anticipated issue 2, and there you are. And again, as we do, uh, the beautiful variant cover, which actually came in runner-up for best cover of the week. So it is in our top five, but not quite the cover of the week. Um, then for Marvel, we have issue 23 of Champions. From Dynamite Publishing, we have issue three of Charlie's Angels. Marvel brings us issue 606 of Daredevil. And then from Image Publishing, we have issue 5, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's 5. It is not issue 5 of The Dead Hand. And then uh, also from Image, issue 4 of Death or Glory from Rick Remender. Fantastic book. Everybody's looking forward for this book to be out here at Fox's, and here it is. Uh, DC brings us Batman Detective, issue 986. And with that comes another one of our top five covers uh, for this week. Uh, I guess I better turn it that way. Um, Batman and the Batmobile, pretty wicked. That's for Detective's 986. Nice variant cover there. Uh, next up from Image Publishing, we have Dissonance, Issue 4. And then from Marvel Publishing, we have Issue 5 of Domino by Gail Simone. Good book, nice cover. Uh, IDW brings us Issue 4 of Dungeons & Dragons, Evil at Baldur's Gate. And I think Mr. Fox has been accused of living at Baldur's Gate. Maybe that's just my thinning hair talking. Uh, next up from Marvel, we have issue six of Exiles. And then another highly anticipated release this week from Marvel, we have issue one of Fantastic Four. That's right, they're back. Marvel will acknowledge them once again. Um, Dan Slott's bringing it to us. Looks to be fantastic, uh, but the Fantastic Four is back with Marvel and back being published and some of the variant covers which are all really really nice uh, in fact this one we even made it voted into the top five covers of the week the sketch so that was pretty cool uh, heady times for Marvel 
Next up from Image, we have Farmhand, number two. Kind of an interesting concept of them growing body parts. It's really kind of a neat book. Uh, DC brings us issue 52 of The Flash. I think Mrs. Fox experienced that last night. And as always, the variant cover is gorgeous. Also in our top five covers of the week. Uh, then next up from Image, we have issue three of Flavor. And uh, you have to wear a big clock around your uh, neck when you read that. And say, boy! Uh, then from D.C., Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, issue 50. And uh, as always, another gorgeous uh, virgin cover from uh, D.C. on the uh, variants. Next up, also from D.C., we have Hawkman, issue 3, War of Wings. And then I am saddened to say it, but I can't deny it, the cover of the week this week was indeed Hawkman, issue 3. So those of you who are fans of Hawkman, both of you out there, I want you to enjoy this week because Hawkman is the cover of the week at Fox's, and that's a heavily sought-after prize. So just so you know. Next up from Image, we have issue one of Hey Kids Comics. So there that is. Then from Marvel, we have issue four of Hunt for Wolverine, the Adam Andium Agenda. And uh, from DC, we have issue five of Immortal Men. And then we have our runner-up for cover of the week from Oni Press. Invader Zim, issue 33, it's Mr. Wiener Face. And I think uh, I've heard that yelled at me more than once here in the store. I never thought it was funny. But just so you know, that happens. And it uh, keeps me sad. That's why I'm humble. Uh, but I am Wiener Face. All right, next up, we have... From Image, Issue 4 of Medieval Spawn and Witchblade. And another one of our top five covers of the week is next from IDW, Issue 69 of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. I think the French horn spilling out all the stuff on, on the horse was really what made that kick. All right, next from Image, Issue 6 of... Oblivion Song. Great book, great read, great story, great company, all of it's good. Then next up from Marvel, we have another one of our top five cover of the week finalists. Issue 45 of Old Man Logan. And then from DC, we have issue three of Plastic Man. And then from Image Publishing, we have Issue 8, Port of Earth. And then from Dark Horse Publishing, we have Issue 1 of Predator, Hunters 2. But it's cover 1 of Hunters 2. Don't let that confuse you. Next up from DC, we have Issue 25 of Red Hood and the Outlaws. And that's okay. But its variant did finish in the top five covers of the week. Issue 25, Red Hood and the Outlaws. Red Hood and Batman going at it. Um, and that is in our top five covers of the week. As is our next entry from DC Vertigo, Neil Gaiman's Sandman Universe. Issue one. Gorgeous cover. And as you can see, the highly anticipated. Everybody loves some Neil Gaiman. Great looking variants. All of those also finished in our top five covers of the week. Uh, as did, and I hate to admit this as well, but for the two of you who are fans of this, uh, Scooby Apocalypse, issue 28. Just a gorgeous, 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 because no help is coming. So, just so you're aware of how bleak it is. Next up from DC, we have issue seven of Sideways. Sometimes that's the only way I can squeeze into a doorway. Uh, then from S Marvel, we have Spider-Man Annual 1. I'll just 
just leave that sit right there. That's a neat looking cover. And then also from Marvel, we have issue 37 of Spider-Man Deadpool, which clears up a lot of the unanswered questions of the previous 36 issues. United Plankton Pictures brings us issue 83 of SpongeBob Comics. It's fantastic. Well done, well drawn. It's funny as all get out. It's even funnier than Deadpool. Next up from Marvel, we have issue 19, Star Wars, Darth Vader. Then from DC, we have issue 45, Suicide Squad. And also in our top five covers of the week, Suicide Squad issue 45 variant cover. Apparently Harley's going a little late with some uh, ball bat. So that looks pretty good. Uh, next up from DC, we have Supergirl issue 21. And I thought also in the top five best covers of the week, Supergirl 21 variant cover getting licked by her dog, which is just sweet as all get out. Uh, next up from DC, we have issue two of Superman from Brian Michael Bendis. Really going over well. And the variant cover is fantastic as well. And the other variant cover is fantastic as well. Then from Dark Horse, we have issue three of Sword Daughter, When Her Village Burned. Very good book. Then from DC, we have issue 24 of Titans. And a fantastic cover for Titans 24 variant. Then from IDW, we have issue 2 of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Bebop and Rocksteady, Hit the Road. DC brings us Wildstorm, Michael Cray, and that is issue 10. And then uh, we have from DC, Wonder Woman, issue 52. And uh, then our runner-up to cover of the week, certainly in our top five, would be Wonder Woman 52's variant. That's called Wonder Woman at the Beach. Or Wonder Woman is a beach. It's hard to say which one, but it's one of those others. All right, then we have from Dynamite Publishing, issue seven of Xena, Warrior Princess. And as if that cover isn't pretty enough, we've got the variant cover for Warrior Princess as well, which is gorgeous. And then our last one is a Marvel cover, X-Men Blue, issue 33. So that looks like the comics that are here at Fox's for this week. Again, they go on sale Wednesday, August 8th at 10 a.m. Hope to see you here.